Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing the best vanillas in my perfume collection. I've got in here 20 perfumes. Yes, you heard that right. 20 perfumes. I couldn't make a top 10, a top 15. I have in here 20 perfumes that are very strong on the vanilla. Uh, we're not gonna feature any perfume that has some vanilla in it, but it's not mainly just vanilla. Um, so 20 perfumes all vanillas, we're gonna have some chippies, we're gonna have designers, this designers private collections, niche, indie, a little bit of everything. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. We are gonna start with chippies. The first one and I think the only one that I have in here is from Swiss Arabian, this one is Casablanca. What I'm getting with this perfume is vanilla, caramel and apple, extremely sweet, it has like a freshness from the apple. It's, it's not necessarily a red apple, it's more like a green apple, but you're definitely getting a very, very sweet vanilla with caramel. It's your typical vanilla, okay? If you like um, vanilla from Kayali, this is that type of vanilla, more like Madagascar vanilla, I would say, but with caramel and also lots and lots of green apple. Really like this one. Amazing performance, sillage, longevity, everything. Swiss Arabian, Casablanca. Next, we have designers signorina ribelle from salvatore ferragamo this one smells like vanilla raspberry ice cream but don't think it's super gourmand it's more like a fresh vanilla and with with some raspberry in it super refreshing sweet beautiful amazing for the summer time i absolutely love this one uh, doesn't have the best projection and lasting power but it's a cheapy it's designer yes but it's also cheapy um, so I can't really complain. Signorina Ribelle. Next we have Olympia Intense from Paco Rabanne. I do really like the original Olympia, but I decluttered that one just because I do prefer this one. Olympia Intense, it's salted vanilla and it has some amber in it as well. It's beautiful. Okay, you can wear this one all year round, but definitely this one is more like summer evenings because it has like it's like salty vanilla, it smells like the sea, but also you're wearing this like super sweet vanilla scent. It's amazing, you need to try it. If you like the original, definitely check this one out because in my opinion, the Intense is way better. Next, next we have Dior Addict. Dior Addict is this creamy vanilla with something green in the background and spicy at the same time. It's a dark, deep, um, type of scent. I would wear this one just like fall, winter, especially winter. For me, it's more like a Christmassy scent. But the vanilla in this one is beautiful. Not for everyone. It can be a bit mature. Uh, definitely not for everyone. Definitely not a safe blind buy because I've heard people saying that this one gets extremely green on their on their skin. It's not my case. It's a little bit green, okay, but I'm not getting anything like super green. Um, but I do really, really like it. It has very good lasting power and sillage. Dior Addict. Next. Let's move on to some private collections. We have Vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior. This one is spicy vanilla with some orange, with some cinnamon in it. Very Christmassy, very holiday-like. I do really like it. It's like a festive vanilla. Um, some people are saying it's boring. Some people are saying it's very interesting. For me, it's it's a different vanilla. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I would not say it's the most unique one, but I don't have anything like this. Um, again, some people are saying it doesn't project on my skin. I don't know how, I don't know why it gets beast mode. I do really, really like this one and I got lots of compliments. Again, it's more like spicy, Christmassy, um, vanilla, orange, cinnamon, that type of scent. Vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior. Next we have... Probably one of my favorite vanillas, Orchidea Vanille from Van Cleef and Arpels. <sighs> this is dark, it's deep, it's sexy, it's almost like syrupy. It has this almost um, chocolatey vibe, like chocolate undertone. It's beautiful, it's stunning. It's kind of skin, skin scent, not, not a skin scent in like... Um, the definition of a skin scent but it doesn't like really project it's not the best projector um, so yeah that's something that I'm not the biggest fan of like the projection 
could be better but the scent is just gorgeous it's stunning if you are a vanilla lover you definitely need to check this one out orchidea vanille from van Cleven arbors next we have by the fireplace from Mezzo martin margella um opening is not necessarily vanilla okay it smells like burning wood like chestnut burning wood but the dry down mm, the dry down is the most beautiful vanilla again spicy incense type of vanilla but it's stunning it's beautiful perfectly unisex i just love it this in the winter is just magic it's amazing by the fireplace from Mezzo martin margiela now some indie perfumes that are actually not um expensive are pretty affordable vanilla from theodora scalatinis this this smells exactly like um, the frost like vanilla frosting from a cupcake it does smell like the most natural vanilla it smells more like a processed vanilla but it's gorgeous it's so good it's so yummy it's so good man like this is the type of vanilla that you want to eat it smells like a dessert it smells like vanilla frosting this is what i'm getting i'm loving it even though it's an auto toilet um it has pretty good lasting power and see on my skin um this perfume i think retails on his website for like 20 euros something like that for 15 ml which is absolutely amazing i really really like this perfume vanilla from theodoros carotinis next we have um a whiff of a waffle cone from imaginary authors <sighs> not as gourmand as i thought it's gonna be because it smells like a waffle cone a vanilla waffle cone with maybe some ice cream might be also like some lemon ice cream and then you're getting again this like woody like burning wood um type of scent i really like it now when i first uh, got this one i wasn't the biggest fan it was like too smoky for me but now i absolutely love it and i can definitely smell the vanilla in it it smells like a vanilla waffle cone um but again it has something more something extra um it's more appropriate for fall and winter because it's like smoky it's a bit dark it's it's good it's good you need to give this one a try maybe get a sample i know that they have samples on the website um it's not like i said your typical gourmand but it's getting gourmand it's getting there imaginary authors a whiff of a waffle cone next we have some affordable affordable niche okay not necessarily the most affordable perfumes but affordable niche we have Vanille Absolute from Montal. This one has, let me spray it in here. Again, it doesn't smell like the most realistic vanilla, but it's not as gourmand as a vanilla from Theodoro Scalotinis. But this one has almost like a plasticky vibe. It smells like vanilla and a Barbie doll. It sounds weird, but I do really like it. It smells like a, it smells like a fake vanilla, but in the best way possible. I don't know how to explain that it's like in the best way possible i've tasted i think all of the vanillas from montal and this is by far my favorite i do really like it it smells fake plasticky but in the best way possible it's weird you need to, you need to test it vanilla absolute from montal next we have keali vanilla it's like madagascar vanilla your typical vanilla and brown sugar very beautiful a no-brainer if you like vanilla definitely you're gonna like this one not sure if it's gonna be your favorite vanilla but definitely you're gonna like it okay um it's an easy reach again if you like vanilla it's just vanilla it's vanilla and brown sugar that's it nothing more nothing less um decent lasting power decent sillage i do really like it vanilla from keali next one we have serge luta un bois vanille un bois vanille um I can describe it like two, in two different ways. You can smell it as a bakery vanilla. This is what I'm getting. But someone said that this one smells like like the beach, like a sandal lotion vanilla. And now I can smell that thing as well. It has a little bit of like a sandal lotion vibe. But it's bakery in the same time. When I first got this one, I absolutely hated it. It was a blind buy it was i think my first niche perfume that i ever bought and i just hated the scent but now i'm just like yep this is good this is good i wore this one in the winter time and i have to tell you it doesn't project that much but in the summer especially summer evenings 
this is perfect Sejuta Umbovani. and the last one that is not that expensive Diptyque Eau Duel, the Eau de Toilette. I've tested recently the Eau de Parfum. Really like the Eau de Parfum, but it reminded me of other perfumes. But the Eau de Toilette is just better in my opinion. Is this green vanilla, but very sweet, like sugary vanilla, bright and green in the same time. Um, I know that Nishane Ani is also green vanilla. That one was way too green, especially in the opening. This one is not as green as Ani, okay, and it's more sugary. The vanilla is more sugary. You, ne you need to test it. This one is beautiful. The Eau de Parfum is beautiful. That different. That different enough to own both of them, but I do prefer Eau de Well Eau de Toilette. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, and it has good lasting power in CH, especially uh, this one being an Eau de Toilette. So, Eau de Well from Diptyque. Next. Now let's move on to some uh, niche perfumes, like expensive niche we have in here goldfield and banks silky woods i'm still not totally in love with this scent okay it's exactly the vanilla from vanilla um from keali and the vanilla from casablanca from swiss arabian the exact type of vanilla but with suede and the suede for me is pretty strong it's like when I smell it on my skin, I don't really like it, but in the air, it smells so damn expensive. So that's why I, I it do still have in my collection and I'm still wearing it. I don't know, it's like a love-hate relationship, you know, like sometimes the suede is too much, but sometimes I'm getting more the vanilla and the suede is just there to give you like some luxury, to give you some something like some richness. I don't know. It's weird. I love and hate this fragrance in the same time. You need to test it. I will not say blind by this one because it's not just a vanilla scent. Silky Woods from um, Goldfield and Banks. Next, we have Absolute Aphrodisiac from Initio. This thing is just divine. Let me spray it in here. Opening is this like ambery vanilla, but then the dry down It's so sweet and sugary and dark in the same time and intoxicating and sexy and sensual and oh. This vanilla it's everything. It's like a bit spicy in the opening A bit smoky has something else, but then the dry down is like boom. I'm sweet. I'm strong. I'm here. I'm it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love Initio. This is a beautiful vanilla scent. Um, it has also maybe a, a touch of something green, but just like a touch. Just a touch. But mainly it's like ambery vanilla and then just like sugary, dark, sexy vanilla. Absolute aphrodisiac from Initio. Next we have something that actually reminds me slightly of um, Initio. EBK Ruby and Vanilla Intense. This perfume, it has something bright and almost citrusy in the opening. And in the middle, it smells like the love baby of Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac and the Tic Eau Duel, Eau de Toilette. It has something bright, citrusy, but in the same time, something dark, maybe some wood in, in it. And the vanilla is getting sugary. I do like the opening. I much prefer and love the dry down. The dry down is just beautiful. The opening is like, yeah, I'm cute. I'm nice. I'm here. But the dry down is pff, amazing. Love it. Ruby and Vanilla Intense from EBK. Another one from EBK that I love even more. And that is actually my scent of the day. Ruby and Vanilla Oud. When I'm telling you that this is the best Oud and Vanilla combo. It's so good. Again, the vanilla in this is not as sugary as in the original. It's more like Madagascar vanilla. It's thicker, it's deeper, it's darker. It has wood, definitely. It, oh, I also smell some like freshness. But like in the background, maybe some bergamot, something like that. It's good. If you like wood, check this one out. It's not your oriental wood, okay? 
it's a different type of wood it's oh, it's beautiful amazing lasting powder in see like i said this one was my center of the day today and i could smell it the entire day with my mask on no problems it's beautiful um good lasting power good projection ebk ruby and vanilla wood next we have how many we have left i think we have just three left emmy Khalif not even e. Not even e is this boozy vanilla without being too boozy and slightly powdery it's very nice it's very nice it feels like it's not the strongest perfume but people around you are actually able to smell you um, because when i was wearing this i was like i don't think anyone is able to smell me but in reality i got compliments so definitely people are able to, uh, are able to smell you it's slightly powdery again boozy but not too boozy slightly powdery the vanilla is sweet but it's not like sugary sweet it's not like bakery vanilla very beautiful very elegant um very fall appropriate type of vanilla i really really like it emmy Khalif, not even e. and we have two more two more perfumes and they're actually bought from zerjaf and they're actually bought from the casa morati line we have zerjaf dama bianca dama bianca is this light light powdery vanilla with some kumquat if you don't know how that fruit smells like uh, i don't know once you smell it in this perfume you're gonna know how it smells like i don't know how to explain it you need to smell it, it has also almost like a peachy it's like i would say it's like a mix between peach and mango i might be wrong but this is what i'm getting and then you're getting this powdery slightly du dusty vanilla it's so elegant it's so pretty it's so feminine oh it's incredible i love it um i would not say it's like a heavy heater it's not your typical zerjov perfume when you know zerjov is like boom in your face it's not that um but it's beautiful it's very innocent it's it's beautiful i really like it a different vanilla i don't have anything like this in my collection okay i don't think i don't have anything and um, that innocent and that feminine and that um sweet but not in your face and not grumant really like this one and the last one that we have is obviously lira lira is this sugary in your face super strong vanilla with some orange and the end result is like an orange cheesecake i love it it's beautiful it's just do i have an empty paper no yes i do let me spray here oh. super sweet in your face vanilla we like i said orange cheesecake is delicious it's amazing it lasts the entire day it's just beautiful i love it one of the best vanillas it's not just vanilla okay that orange really makes a difference it really smells like che um, orange cheesecake but like with lots and lots of vanilla love it love it love it if you love gourmands you definitely need to test this one out because it's just beautiful so our last scent that we're having here is lila from zerjov and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite vanilla if you tested any of this if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye